Here on Oahu, a horse rescue shelter is making its fifth year, marking its fifth year in operation, and now looking to expand to Colorado. KITV Force Catherine Cruz takes us to Cunia for a closer look at the work that's underway. I do have my own personal horses, but um, you know, I've got a lot of love to give these guys. So. Bettina Parker has roots planted in both Hawaii and Colorado. The founder of Equine 808 has responded to close to 100 calls for help in the short time the horse rescue program has been in place. You know, folks are either calling from they, they see a emaciated horse or they see uh, an owner abusing their horse or even help for themselves. You know, I have a horse, I don't know what to do with it. The Cunia Ranch recently teamed up with the Humane Society of the United States to host a workshop with law enforcement officers. So we're going over um, what to do in the field when you're uh, responding to a call about potential equine cruelty or neglect, um, when to involve a veterinarian, uh, the proper documentation protocols um, that should be followed. We're getting a lot more calls and more influx of, of horses too. So we're at one point we're getting in one horse a month, either being surrendered or um, yeah, not really seized, but. Um, Owner surrender because of uh, maybe a possible prosecution of neglect. We were concerned. Parker says shelter staff compiled a book with before and after pictures of some of their success stories. Recovery can take years, but Parker's happy that Equine 808 has been able to successfully arrange more than two dozen horse adoptions. He's a really, really patient horse, and we were able to um, uh, give riding lessons to kids off of this horse. And that's, and, him, and that's him right there. Wow. Yeah, and he's currently being sponsored by a military family oh, who nice. really, really loves that horse. Um, so he is a huge success story. Oh, These are our donkeys. donkeys. Yeah. The feral donkey program is part of a major effort to find homes for hundreds of sterilized Kona nightingales rescued from the Big Island. Sixteen of the donkeys have been sent over to Oahu and have been adopted. Another five arrived this week. They've been snatched up by ranchers to help with goat herds or to help keep horses company. This particular pony happens to get along really well with these donkeys. Actually, two up here in the Cunia Mountains that have adopted. Uh, a lot of them are Waimanalo and Haula. So, there we go. So, they're getting around. Yeah, they're getting around. <laughs> now, some of those donkeys have ended up in Colorado and California. The adoptions are ongoing. But equine sanctuary mission and education work is still its primary focus. In fact, its most recent rescue of a horse was just a week ago. Back to you.